So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the St. Mary's Gales. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Gales should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. First, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And lastly, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Bed the low block. He uses the shot fake with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the instant replay camera. <laughs> the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He'll regroup the offense. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The small forward handles the feed. Inside, number 50 receives the pass. Takes the shot, gets it to fall. Inside, Mercer receives the ball, tries for two. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. That was awesome, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The small forward handles the pass. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Fakes a jumper, and he'll kick it back outside. Thinks about the shot. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Makes it. Oh, my. He ran into a major league screen that time. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Trying to pack it inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They're right on top of that pass. Here's a flash from the high post. He unloads. They let him get into a rhythm. The ball goes out of play. 
Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Abrams is animated and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Moving it around the perimeter. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Peru. On the outside. Up fake. Got to take some flight on the defensive end. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. With a bucket and in and out. Strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, what a strip, Red. They're working around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. The other way, get a layup. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. Oh, we got to replay that one. Looking for a good shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. In and out. And a momentary look from three-point land. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that, baby. Definitely a foul.
He shoots from the top of the key. Goes. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There's a double team waiting there. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high rise. <laughs> Pressure's getting to him. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. With a great block. Defensively. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. The skip pass is picked off. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special mark, feeding the post. execution on offense. They work the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He gets the bucket to fall. <laughs> Up and inside. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Entry pass in the paint. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 is gets the rejection. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. He's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the long pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? 
Well, Grad and Dick down on the sidelines. The losing team is starting to get a bit anxious. Their coaches can sense that, and they're telling their team to just relax. Could it be the bright lights that has this team second guessing so far tonight, Grad? That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He'll visit the charity strike. He got it. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. He should have an easy bucket here. Looking for the foul. That's good. That's basic. Intercepted. Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. Stolen away. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. He hits it. That's an 8-0 run. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys were reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries to get the D to bite. Nice fake. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. from the top of the key. Tickles the twine. They work it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And 
that and momentary look from three-point land. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Number 50 with the fake. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two and off the mark. And they get the turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. And the jam. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The ball goes out of bounds. Post flashes for the opportunity. For two, he can't miss. And he's young man's feeling it, Brad. Here's a double team. He strips him clean. They run it up into transition. For the bucket, drains it. On the outside, gave it up, steals the pass. On the outside. On the inside, time to pick up the defense here now. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Double team now, bad angle. Ten on the shot clock. Goes up for two. The Gales have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Picked out of the air. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They go inside, and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside outside action always works. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Robs him with the ball. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. it up hoping for the best off target at halftime the Sun Devils are behind by 23 we've had a good one so far Dick what play stands out for you in the first half check out this dunk which changed the momentum Brad I wouldn't doubt if the next half is filled with more highlight reel dunks looks like both teams are trying to one up one another all right Dick let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. You better get rid of it, Brad. He shoots from the angle. It sticks. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Steal. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. He knocks down another bucket, dude. This kid's got skills, Brad. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. There's a steal. They scored seven in a row. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. He intercepts it. From the top of the key, Arizona State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the deuce, drops the bucket despite the harm. They scored 11 in a row. Back to the live action we go. On the inside. Tries for two. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. A oh, terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. The shooting guard gets the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And he scores despite the hack. In the paint, goes up for two. Jumped in front to take it away. And the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know what? Well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Intercepted. 
with a quarterback pass. They're working around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Perfectly executed. Look at that space. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. The center with the ball. That's a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The power forward takes the feed. And they come with a double team to stop it. Count that as a personal foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. He can't get one to fall. He grabs the rebound. off the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Gales are ahead by 19. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He drains the shot. Problem with that, when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronted. Steps to the line for the first time. Gets it. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. The Sun Devils are behind by 19. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. He makes the shot. Intercepted. Pro makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Misses the first. Makes the second shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Big man spins down. Wow, plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. One shot. He misses it. He takes the board. There's the fake. Kicks it out. He pump fakes. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. It's good. He drew the foul off a hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. To the line, shooting one. No doubt. Looking for a good shot. The small forward takes the pass. Tries one from three-point land. Rims out. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. For the bucket. The land. Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. He tries the three ball. The Gales lead by 26. Momentary look from three-point land. Picked off. Play results in a backcourt violation. You have to take care of the rock, baby. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? Thanks, Erin. Post flashes for the ball handler. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Now they're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Nick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Controlling the ball. Got the shot if he wants it. He fires from long range. He shows the sweet touch. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up, gave it up, tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Look at that spacing. Great defense. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside outside action always works. They scored eight in a row. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Rejected. It's a block party out there. Trying to draw the foul. Sinks the shot. They scored 10 in a row. for anything if you're the opposition. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. For two, basket falls despite the contact. That's a 12-zip run. Shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Gales are ahead by 16. Top of the circle goes in. There's the trap. He comes away with it. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Robs him of the ball. They push it up on the break. He intercepts it. Long lead pass. He wants a three. Way off target. Arizona State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Going to take it himself. For the deuce, he gets it to go. Here's a double team. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. 
Whistled for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. A couple of free ones. the second. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. it fly. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. And let's go back out onto the floor. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Pushing that basketball. He tries the three. Got it. Gave it up. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He dials long distance. Oh, yes! Jumped in front to take it away. Down court pass. He goes for the trifecta. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. They're off into transition. Gets it to fall. Top, controlling the ball. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Strips the ball. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. Got a nice screen. In the post for two. Was that beautiful or what? Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. 
Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Arizona State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. In the paint. There's a high screen. Picked out of the air. ready to start again. Double team now, bad angle. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Just puts it up there. He comes up empty. Dick looks like we're staying for a while. I'm not going anywhere. This is what it's all about, Mr. Nestler. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. NCAA tournament, and it is overtime, a tournament game. Two evenly matched teams, Dick. This has been great throughout regulation. I can't wait for the OT. I think it's going to be Heartbreak Hotel for one of these clubs. I mean Heartbreak Hotel. They have played their hearts out. Both these clubs executed, defended well. But somebody's going to leave here with an L. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Up and inside. He puts it up. And he can't hit the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The turn of fadeaway jumper. The Gales have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby!
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Knocks it down. That's a nice looking play right here. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Shoots it, he gets the bucket. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the deuce, and he scores despite the hack. They work the perimeter. He's got some room. Picks off the lazy pass. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. In the paint. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And now they'll bring it up. Steals the ball. For two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the dribble, gives it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He cleans the glass. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the shot. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the fake for the bucket. And he missed. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here. They have the foul. They're going to stop the clock, Brad. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Second one is good. Timeout's called on the court. Surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Those long arms trying to... He gets the rejection. Don't waste a lot of time. Foul right away. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the losing team is fouling. They don't want to stop the clock. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. 
gets his second. Shot clock is dead. Working it around the perimeter. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Gave it up. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Gales is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the Hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.